Well, the years 2006 and 2007 were eventful. The fall off to the new recruitment and eventually to the discovery of Cindy, Cindy Lecker. The number of concerts done was amazing and the struggle of identity was visible. Many musicians wanted to join Kofi Olomide. Kofi Olomide, in his usual pride, taunted fellow artists by poaching their musicians. His main target was Felix Ezekwa and Werason. He recruited Detroit Galliano from Werason and Jose Diena, vocalist, Gabana Shashu, vocalist, and Gaseka Shimpoi, who was an animator, all from Felix Ezekwa. Tony Ambrosio from King Kesta Emenea. I wonder whether these established artists saw the problems they were getting themselves into. Was it worth it? But it was a chance to work with Mopao Mokonzi Le Grand. There was also the signing of Accra Diniero, Edo Dola and Di Campo. He had recruited minias, young artists that wanted to be trained but he still had old artists that had not done any wrong that he did not mind keeping. The likes of Gibson, Junior Kingombe, and Montana, of those that returned after Monde Arabe, Madogo, and Suzuki. Only Suzuki remained for the recording of the album. Another notable returnee was Babi Andonga, may his soul rest in peace. There were many other follow-ups from the Minias, team and notable was the Plick Bomber who had joined Werasona ahead of the album Techno Maleo. The concerts of, were overhyped and they overhyped the expected album Bot Ezanga Combo. Many fans expected a mix of party music to slow ballads. The audition tunes from the Minias and the chants from the young animators were experiences to look forward to. They really excited me to be sincere. There was a challenge. The band had very many outstanding vocalists that were used single-handedly, singing their distant solo parts in the bands they played. Now, they had not to allocate roles alongside band members much younger than them. The band members in the studio were like so, Arabe Yusuf, Akra Dinero, Aso Ferrari, Babi Andonga, Cindy Leker, DVD Muzika, De Campo, Edo Dola, Gabana Gibson, Butu Candolo, Gelor Monami, Jitres Galliano, Jos Diena, Junior Kangombe, Montana Kamenda, Omba Lipasa, Roli Mayemba, Scott Pipien, Shilam Putu, Suzuki Luzugu, Tony Ambroso, and Zole Bell. And the album had great songs, like so Festival, 6M Shatea, Salopet, Bebe Go, Lo Lo Lo, Lo Ikea, Plateau Favori, Lamu, and Existe, Diabolos, Supu, Ninel, Grand Petreme, Cleboa, Love Me Sin, Katagoruma, Bomengo, Bendele, you name it. Only three tracks, Salopete, Cleboa, and Bendele, Partisans. The rest are soft ballads that projected his partnership with Cindy more than with the rest of the band members. The song that gave many of the band's frontal vocal opportunities was Bomeno. There were many senior artists like Yusuf Ndor and Lokwa Kwanza that were guest artists. On the animators, the album had Gesak Chipoy, Mbuji Mai, Mukusu Yamboa, Pepik Mbasu, Sogel Royale, Tur Mbaka. This was a test album for the female animator, Sobolen and Felix Uzek were taunting job for Gesak Shimbol. The rest of the animators were widely used. One would argue that Gesak was a feeling of replacing uh, Apocalypse and uh, Wenzabi. Similarly, with the same energy, but Mbasu Mboa and Mbunji Mbai were equally um, strong animators. Look at the likes of Sui album and the concert. Many unutilized vocalists and the emerging identity with Cindy, there was a bound to be some exits after this album. Very nice album. 
Tell me, which was your favorite track? From a Frakata to Fair uh, to a Fair de Tat, to Monde Arabi, to Danger de Mort, and Bord a Zanga Combo. Was this the climax or was this the anticlimax of Kofiolomide? Hey, Juma Jang, écoute mon power, ils sont amis. 